are we good? Hey, we're good. Okay. This is actually my second run through tonight because the first time the audio wasn't there, and audio is really helpful for a podcast. So, uh, the first time through, something jumped out and fell in the lava. This time, apparently, nothing did. But we have a sign. I should have brought some bacon. Darn it. Okay, I, I did bring some bacon this time, so hopefully I'll be fine. Um, the first time through, I didn't bring bacon, but I didn't encounter much. I thought I heard an arrow. Did I hear an arrow? Well, anyway, there are a lot of nooks and crannies to these caves. So the players hopefully would find lots of adventure, lots of things to go explore and look at. I'm going to take us straight through because I'm trying to get you through and explain the story we've got here. But hopefully there was lots of opportunities to, to you know, get sidetracked. So the next sign says, hot in here. Zombies want to eat my brains. Okay, well, that's a little indication, hopefully, to get the players, even if they haven't seen any any monsters, to be nervous. Of course, why Sir Blockhead was leaving signs as he was running from zombies, I don't know. I guess he's a very fast typist, but uh, still hungry. Red mushrooms are too spicy. They hurt. So now, apparently, uh, our hungry Sir Blockhead found red mushrooms and ate them, and apparently they are too spicy and they hurt. I always thought that was true, but I don't know for a fact that it's true. Uh, oh, we got a friend. Hey, friend. Okay. Made quick work of them. All right. And let me just... I don't even know. I don't even need the feathers, but we're going to keep going. Uh, I thought I saw some diamonds over there. Am I... Well, look at that. Diamonds. Good luck getting them. Okay. And what do we got? Oh, more gurs. So, this is this is better. This is more like an exciting quest that I wanted the players to have. Uh, as I said before, I had, whoa, I had times through where I didn't really find much. Um, this time we're finding lots of good stuff, though. At least lots of gurs through the wall. We got another sign. Skeletons are coming. Gotta run. Uh, apparently, it's not so pressing that you can't stop to leave a sign. But, you know, it's storytelling. You can do what you can. So, I want the players to realize, or at least think, okay, there are monsters everywhere. Sir Blockhead was running. And now he says, do not eat a stone mushroom. They will turn you into stone. So he already mentioned the red mushrooms. Stone mushrooms are, are something new. In fact, something fictitious, but uh, something new. He ate a stone mushroom. Apparently they will turn you into stone, and don't eat the giant mushroom or you will grow in size. Okay, so apparently now we're adding new mushrooms to the world, at least in this story. Uh, there are stone mushrooms and there are giant mushrooms. And let's make sure we're safe here. Nothing over there. I think we're okay for the moment. Let's read some signs. Uh, uh oh, I ate both a stone and a giant mushroom. Now I don't feel so good. Alrighty, well our prolific sign maker is now not feeling very good. Um, so this is sort of how I tried to communicate the story. I wanted to make it so that the players could get some understanding of what was happening to this character that they're following. And hopefully um, enjoy the story. Let's see what happens when we go a little further. We'll go along here and nothing there. Ooh, darkness, I'm not going to want to fall there. I think my skin is getting a bit tougher like stone. Skin getting tougher. I suppose that would be an indication that you're turning into stone. Alright, and good. We're clear. I don't want to go down there. That looks dark and ominous. I'm hoping the players branched out a little bit and explored, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take you straight on through. So, one of the interesting note, uh, interesting things to note is that some of the players actually believed that some of these things were true, which is wonderful. It means that the story worked for some of them. Uh, here it says, I'm getting big. These tunnels are just too tight now. Okay, well, that's a small tunnel over there, but it's getting bigger. Uh, I assume he must have been mining it as he went. I'm going to carry a block and... Oh, actually, I can see this one. We're Clear. Okay, can't fit in these tunnels. Also, I'm getting sleepy. That's not good. All right, 
and here we go. Here's what I need a, a block for. Let me make sure I'm clear. And gotta get out before I'm stuck down here forever. That's not good. I don't want to be stuck down here forever. Okay. And then another one. Let me make sure I'm clear. Okay. And this one says, I'm so sleepy, gotta lie down for a while. All right, so Sir Blockhead is not doing well. Let's see what these say. Very tired, gonna take a nap, turning to stone. If I don't wake up, you can have Castle Blockhead. If I don't wake up, you can have... So the message is that whatever <laughs> happened, let's hope he's down here somewhere, whatever happened to Sir Blockhead, uh, if he doesn't wake up, the players that find this can keep his castle. And that's actually what happened. The first players that found this uh, enjoyed the quest so much that, and liked the castle so much that they decided they would actually take it and have it be their base. So, all right, nothing down there. All right, that's the stairs, and let's go up. And, oh, wait a second. Okay, so this is what happened to Sir Blockhead. Apparently, he did actually grow in size, and apparently he did actually turn to stone. And he is lying here, interred in a tomb of sorts. Now, in the story, as you may find out later or may see later, and the uh, glowing eyes are a hint, he's not actually dead. Later on, we actually had his arms are, are now currently raised as if he is alive and laying here and wondering how the heck he's going to get himself out. Now, one of, the, one, of the th one of the theories or one of the ideas behind these giants, these stone giants, is that they move so slowly that you can't actually see them move if you're watching them. But if you leave and come back, they may move. Um, you may turn around and a giant may be doing something else. Um, so that's sort of one of the one of the ideas behind these builds is to try to make it a more engaging world that people can, the players can, can really wrap their minds around and uh, get into the idea that there's more to the game than is just on the surface. Um, it's a wonderful world. I mean, in general, you know, the, the monsters are great and the, the atmosphere and the creativity is wonderful. I'm going to go back up now and, and talk as I go. Um, what, what's missing from this game, to my mind, what's missing from most games, is that as soon as you, you know, know what's in the game, really there's not a lot of surprises left. So what I tried to do, as a, as a, almost as a dungeon master, oops, some gold, um, as a dungeon master, sort of, is I tried to create new things that the players would not expect that would surprise them. You know, maybe even blow their minds a little bit. Um, stuff that they would never expect to find in this game, in this world. And the only way to do that is to actually go in and do it. Now there's a dark area over there. I'm not going to go out that way. I'm just going to go out back this way and head on up. And my clock tells me this day, which is good. It means hopefully there won't be any creepers waiting for me. And that was the Castle Blockhead quest. Uh, the players that went through it went through, and they, uh, I'm pretty sure they enjoyed it, and they decided to take Castle Blockhead. There, there are two young ladies who have split it, and they, they are co-owners. I actually went in and fixed it up so that, let me just turn around and make sure. I always move out of, out of caves very quickly and then turn around and scan just for safety. Okay, um, so they took over Castle Blockhead and they customized it. They added like a little area where trees could grow and they made a lot of modifications. So I went in and fixed it back in this offline uh, world save just so that I could show it off. And that is the Castle Blockhead quest. And there's the road and we came out over here and now we are close to the base. So I'm going to swim back through and go back to where we started. 
And basically the idea behind these quests is to, to try to create things in the world that players can stumble upon that will feel hopefully somewhat natural and like they could be part of the world, but that are surprises that they'll never encounter, they'll never actually see if you just leave the world going without, you know, actually modifying it. You know, you'll never find a giant like that or a quest like that. And frankly, I'd be stunned if Notch and those guys could create quests that were that, you know, customized on a, on a programmatic basis. So the idea is to try to take it to the next level. Um, anyways, let me go back up and go back up to where I started. Here we go. And hopefully there aren't any monsters on my island. I used to have a problem with monsters on my island. You can tell by the lack of torches. And that's where I started. So, that was the Castle Blockhead quest. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, uh, hopefully you'll come back. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I guess, have a good night. See you later.